Man, the colors, bro. The colors. The 95C might be it. I'm not gonna lie, the colors is f Yo, what up y'all, it's your boy C-Kid here, man. Back with another video for y'all. We finally got in. This has been a TV you guys have been talking about, y'all have been raving about, and that is the Samsung S95C. Here in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing it here. I'm gonna show you everything you get inside of this TV here. I'm gonna give you guys my first initial thoughts and impressions about the picture quality, as well as gaming on here. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy unboxed. All right, let me got our grandma scissors here. Again, don't do that at home. Cut these tabs, pull this out of the way. Scratching the table, as you already know. <laughs> Do we pull this up? Hopefully, the TV stands on its own. Oh, oh. Did we get it without taking it off the table? boy is goaded let's go all right we got some paperwork here we don't need all right so it looks like the first thing we got here is looks like it's something that's part of the stand right here this bad boy is heavy okay looks like we got a row of cables here all right so it looks like we got our connector cable this is actually going to be for one connect box that we would get that's going to house your inputs and different things like that and then we also get our power cable and then we also get a shorter cable for our box here we got our remote control here and then uh we got some manuals that nobody's going to read all right so let's go ahead and take this part off take that side off all right, so we got some here on the back here. Ooh, this bad boy is heavy, jeez. All right, so this looks like this is gonna be the plate for our stand, if I can get it out of the paper. Oh, they really got this in here. Fuzzball things is everywhere. All right, so this is the stand that you're gonna get. This bad boy is solid. This bad boy is solid metal right here. All right, so we got another part. Now this is probably gonna be the base base part of the plate where the actual TV actually sits on. And then we get another piece here, our one connect box here that we get. We get four HDMI inputs. We also get three USB-A ports. We get our one connect, which is this cable here that I showed you guys. We also get our analog cable. We get our X-Link uh, optical input for audio. And then we also get a LAN port if you wanna plug this in for that fast internet goodness. All right, so let's go ahead and get the stand and all of that put on here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the slim design of the back of this TV right here. Now, this is probably one of the things that I am gonna say I do like about having this one connect box is the fact that Samsung can now go with these extremely thin panels here because all of the inputs are gonna be within this box right here and you literally just take a single cable and plug it right into here, which I think is dope. Now, you also do get a USB 2.0 port that's also on the back of the TV um, if that's something you guys want to use and then you also have your speaker drivers here on the back interested in actually hearing those because these actually look fire all right let's see how we get this stand on <laughs> I think we got it, y'all. I'm gonna be honest, man. That is not the most easiest experience with putting this bad boy together, but nonetheless, we did it. All right, so let's go ahead and get it stood up and uh, hopefully we did everything right and we in there. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh, woo. That's clean, baby. So next thing I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and get it set up on the TV stand over there so we can turn it on and uh, I give you guys my first thoughts. Let's take a look. Now you do have the option to be able to mount this right onto the back of the stand. It does have clips here on the back that you can do so with these mounting holes right here. But for me, I feel like the route that I'm gonna go is probably house it right underneath here. I just think it's gonna look a whole lot cleaner versus uh, kind of having it mounted on the back of the TV. Oh, I like this. I like how they designed it here on the side so you can easily run the cable flat on the box. That's a dope touch. All right, we plugged in. <laughs> oh, this is dope. It's like the remote control is solar powered. That's kind of fly. All right, so we finally got everything set up here. Let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time and let's experience this bad boy together. Let's go. All right, so we finally got everything set up here on the TV. Let's go ahead and walk through everything that we're getting here. We got our app tray that you guys can see right here, which is pretty standard on what you're getting on most televisions now. Um, and then you kind of have your recent inputs that we have right here. We also got some content here that you guys can check out that's right here on the screen. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. And again, I'm starting to like these TV manufacturers not putting so much on the home screen because again, it's gonna make the experience as far as you guys navigating it a whole lot quicker, which is something that I personally like. All right, so we have a gaming hub here. Now, one thing I do like is Samsung has partnered with Xbox uh, to be able to access all of your games directly on the TV, which I think is fire man so you can do all of your game pass and all of that right here on the tv which i think is dope and it's definitely something that i'm going to be testing out in my uh in my upcoming review so definitely going to look out for that and then we got ambient here 
which Ambient seems to be more of uh, kind of like artwork and stuff like that that's gonna be on the screen. So let's go ahead and go home here and I wanna go ahead and boot up the PlayStation cause y'all already know, we gotta get some gaming in. Dang, I can tell you right now, right off the back, it is much more it's definitely vivid in color, that's for sure. All right, so game mode on here. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the settings. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like how uh, you access the gaming menu. Like, I'm not able to just press a button and then just pop up. So gaming mode here, we have uh, standard RPG, RTS, first person shooter, which is what we're gonna switch ours to. Screen ratio is fine. Game mode settings, virtual aim point. Hold on, let's turn this on. Oh, okay, so we can add our dots onto the screen, which is dope. So we can add some crosshairs on there if you want to. You have red, blue, or white, and you can also edit the positions depending on which one you guys chose, but I would just keep it centered. But that's kind of dope. This is cool that you can do that. So in order to open your game settings menu, you have to press and hold on the play button in order to pop this up, which I think is kind of weird, but you know, okay. If that's what they doing, that's what they doing. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our first game here. I will say, man, the colors. Wow, okay. I see a difference right off the back with the colors. Way more vivid, way more vibrant. Oh, that lag, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm getting a crazy lag right now when it comes to gaming. I mean, the colors look good, but the lag right now is pretty crazy. You can see it right here when I tap. I have to figure that out because my audio right now is definitely delayed. Response time is great. There's just a delay in audio and sync. Like the audio sync is, is off pretty bad. Bro, this audio is killing me. I don't know why it's such a delay. All right, so for me, hold on, let me put this on mute here. All right, so when it comes to gaming, I'm gonna say this. I think the picture quality as far as the colors and what they give you out of this screen, Man, it looks good. It's definitely more saturated. I'm probably gonna have to, I'm gonna have to probably dial it down just a little bit, but as far as the colors, it definitely pops for sure. But my biggest problem is I can't figure out how to get the audio to be in sync with the gameplay. For some reason, I'm not sure if there's something with this box here that's causing the audio to be, you know, not necessarily in sync. Uh, but that's definitely causing a, a delay um, as far as like my gameplay. Now, as far as the movement goes, there's no delay there at all. It's more so just the audio and the sound quality that's coming from my PlayStation that's fed into the TV. So I'm gonna have to probably play with that a little bit more and try to figure that out. But I will say this, to have it right out of the box and having to have this issue right here, you know, definitely not the most, uh, not the most satisfying uh, for sure as far as my first go round. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and switch on over to, uh, and just kind of like watch some movies and stuff like that. Man, man, the colors, bro, the colors. Oh man, I don't know y'all, man. The 95C might be it. I'm not gonna lie, the colors is fire coming out of here. It's so rich. Good. Hold up, man. Hold up. Oh my God, the picture quality. Hey, Samsung, I see you. Yo, this picture quality is crazy. So the colors to me just seems to, it definitely pops a whole lot more on this TV. I mean, and it's, it's definitely noticeable for sure. Quantum Dot is, hey, Quantum Dot is it. I'm not even gonna front, Quantum Dot is it. Okay, I ain't even gotta watch all of this. I ain't even gotta watch all of that. I've seen enough. All right, so right out of the gate when it comes to picture quality, y'all, it is, I ain't even played with the colors. This is straight out of the box. No playing with colors, no nothing. It is so much more just, I don't know. It's like it's sharper. It's, it's like it's sharp. It's punchier, the colors is good. Hey, Quantum Dot is next level. And then also, as far as brightness go, I feel like the brightness levels on here is also good as well. The whites seem to be really balanced. Now, I will say the whites are not as, not as punchier or as bright as what I got on something like the LG G3. But I will say, as far as if you don't have those side by side, this TV here, man, I'm telling you, the colors, man, I prefer the colors in this. I ain't gonna lie right out of the gate over the G3. Like, I don't even have to, hey, anyway, nonetheless, man, let's go ahead. I, I ain't gonna give y'all my full review right now, but overall, here's just my quick thoughts about this TV so far. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the setup. Now, as far as the setup on here, I will say, as far as the stand go, yes, I'm somewhat of a fan of the stand. I do think it's a heavy stand. It's definitely sturdy for sure. But my problem that I have with it is I'm not the most like confident on this stand just based on you know you setting it up and all of that i just not the most confident on this stand now i personally have a stand that i use that i have on my lg g3 that works it will also work and mount on this tv right here i had a link for you guys down in the description section below if you want to pick that up I highly recommend you guys check that out but build quality wise this tv is phenomenal man i do like how thin this whole panel is now the back of it is made of a lot more of a plastic material than what you get on something like an lg g3 i do feel like it's a little bit more premium on something like the lg g3 than what we got over here but overall solid panel build quality a1 now one of the things that i do like which is a big difference than what we got on some of the other tvs and again i kind of mentioned it earlier is this one connect box right now i'm not 100 percent sold on it just because when i hooked it up with my playstation I was definitely getting some audio lag uh, there, which I still have to somewhat figure that out. I'm not sure if it's a cable thing or if it's just, you know, somehow I got to figure out how to sync the audio. But my gaming experience on here, the colors looks good as far as the input response time. That's fine. It's the only issue that I'm having is the audio syncing and getting that up uh, with this TV. But gaming on it felt fine. No problems there at all. But overall, man, I feel like this is going to be... This is going to be something that I'm going to be hyped to actually test out, man. And I cannot wait to give you guys my full review. And if you guys are looking forward to that, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. But uh, I'm going to get back to watching this movie because these colors is crazy. <laughs>